Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Yeah, this is your boy Daddy Easy here, iPod Jailbreak Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me, Tom Hawks, and some of y'all may know me as Easy, like I always say, to the black, to the blue, my avatar, my YouTube channel. Yeah, buddy. So, I'm sorry if I have the audio down. Now, I'm just doing a voiceover for a video that I already did. Now, I'm doing this uh, not in real time, but the video that you see is live video that I just previously recorded, and the audio that I'm doing is just a voiceover towards it right now. I had to throw it on Final Cut real quick just to do it. Um, the audio that I had playing in the background, um, I tried to upload this earlier, and I got a copyright uh, ID claim. So basically, I'm just going over it again because I had audio on it. As you can see, I'm sorry about this, guys. As you can see right here, um, when I was doing this, um, I didn't realize that my brightness was so far up. And it basically kind of blurred out a lot of the stuff on it. But you can make out what I'm showing you. If you look closely at it, you'll be able to see the 7.1.1, as you can see right there. It's just the brightness is just really cutting in towards it. Which I'm going to try to do a new video for y'all in a few. Um, doing towards that. So just bear with me. I'm going to try to re-break it. Re-break it. Re-gel break it for y'all so I can actually get a better quality for y'all. Um, most likely, I'm going to have to just wait till in the morning uh, when the sun is actually up. To record this for y'all on um, redo it over i'm gonna be jailbreaking my ipad but on the, some of the steps that you're just seeing on the screen um it's just some of the steps that i'm just basically showing y'all so only thing that i'm doing right now is as i'm running up i'm going to click on um the digits right there and it's telling me what to do so after i do that i'm just going to click on um settings then i'm going to scroll down to uh general and after i'm inside general i'm going to scroll go down to where it says date and time then i'm going to turn that off turn the date and time off um, which is going to be automatic settings for the date and time. Then I'm going to scroll down to it and change the date and the time. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the settings to a later time. Uh, as you can see, I'm scrolling down to get it to an earlier time. As you scroll, um, just keep looking at your computer. As you can see, while I'm scrolling down, my computer just activated itself. Um, that's basically telling me that it's starting to jailbreak. And as you can see right there, the um, screen popped up and it's telling me that it's ready to jailbreak and you want to see it start moving now if you don't want the um the chinese writing on your screen like another widget up there only thing you have to do is just basically uncheck that box that you see at the bottom is on um, black check box underneath the um black bar that you see going by as you see on my screen because i went back a couple of times um it's just saying that i couldn't verify my email address um that's perfectly fine i'm sorry about that guys um, basically, the only thing it's doing is verifying that um, is uh, basically cutting off everything that's being verified towards it. Um, so it just cut off my email and stuff like that. But all that can be fixed once you jailbreak. Um, it should fix itself automatically. If it doesn't, just re-put back in your password and you'll be able to, to go from there. Now, this video is 7 minutes long. As you can see, I never cut off this video at all. I keep it going for the whole time. Now, um, it's a subscriber that's on somebody else's page that asked me about to do this video so once i got halfway pat uh midway towards it what you want to do is just click on that chinese right in towards the jailbreak you're just going to click on it and you know basically click okay to continue right there once you do that this icon is going to pop up as you can see on the screen now just be patient now it may happen quicker for you it may not happen quicker for you just got to be patient just sit there wait if you have a lot of stuff on your iphone ipad uh ipod just wait, sit there, and take your time, and it's going to jailbreak yourself. Just wait. Be patient. If it doesn't do it within 10 minutes uh, or within 7 to 5 minutes, then I can say go ahead, stop, and redo it over the whole steps all over again. But for me, um, <coughs> excuse me, but for me, it only took me about a good 2 to 3 minutes before it actually did to me because I basically... Uh, <clears throat> my storage on my phone is basically ran out. Only had about what five gigabytes of available storage um, from a 16 gigabyte um, iPhone 5s. Um, only thing I'm doing right here is just letting it do its thing. As you can see, it reset it itself by itself. I didn't do anything. <clears throat> now I am going to tell you that I removed the phone out the way just so I could put my password in and I bring it back to the screen, um, which is going to come up real quick. The slides to unlock. Those that have the iPhone 5s know that when you try to use your fingerprint scanner, it doesn't allow you to do it. When you first turn on your phone, you have to put your password in first every time you reboot your phone up. That's basically what I did, just move it to the side and put my password in. Um, as you can see on my computer screen, you see exactly what it's doing in the background. 
Um, I'm just cleaning some dirt off my uh, iPhone right there. I'm still waiting patiently and waiting for the rest of the gel break. As you can see right there. Uh, now what you're going to see me do is I'm going to try to unlock it right there. Move it to the side. Put my password in. Go back over. And there you go right there. As you can see, I click on it. Um, I don't do nothing. I don't touch settings. I don't click done. It's going to reboot itself one more time. That's all I'm doing. Um, it's going to do the same thing again. Again, I remove my phone again to the side just to put my password back in and I bring it back into the front of the screen so basically just waiting for the phone just basically to boot back up like I stated before I will be doing another one again I'm just gonna change my password up and um, I'm gonna wind up jailbreaking my iPad I'm updating my iPad to 7.1.1 currently on my iPad I'm on 7.0.6 I believe it is I'm not currently sure what firmware I'm on on my iPad but I will let you guys know sooner or later. Now, uh, as you can see right here, I want to slide to unlock again. Move my phone to the side. Put the password in. And there we go right there. So as you can see, now I have Cydia. And you see the icon is not there anymore. So that's basically it right there. Uh, it's going to show you basically it's going to install Cydia. As you know, all of the times when you use Cydia, your phone might reboot itself again after Cydia installs itself. And that's basically about it. So I might do another video for this. If y'all happy with what I see on the um on this video, let me know if I should do something a little bit better or if y'all think I should redo the video. Make sure you leave your comments in the description if I should do another video or read your break or um, anything. I will put the link in the description of how to get this. I will put the website on it. Uh this is uh a legit jailbreak for iOS uh, 7.1.1 also works on 7.1 so if you're on one of those firmware 7.1.1 or 7.1 on your iPad uh, what is it iPad 2 iPad 3 iPad retina this retina um, iPad mini iPad mini 2 retina um, iPhone 4 4s 5 5s uh, 5c uh, if you have those devices, the jailbreak works on that, running on 7.1.1 and 7.1. So basically, the only thing you see me on the screen right now is doing, I'm just confirming that city is working, waiting for everything to come in, and that's basically it. So as I'm talking to y'all, you're basically seeing everything that's happening right now. That's why I'm constantly talking. Some of y'all probably like, shut up right now, but just to show y'all that this video is legit, that's why I'm talking to y'all nonstop, and I have not stopped this video. Um, everything that you're seeing on the screen is being done real time. I have not edited the video. I just uh, turned the volume down that's on the video due to copyright issues that um, music was playing in the background. I didn't want this video to get taken down or get a copyright strike on my YouTube page. That's the reason why there's no audio being played on this video. One thing you're hearing is my voice. So one more time, I'm going to slide to unlock. Um, move my phone to the side, put my password in, and you're going to see that city is working. So again, move my phone to the side, put in my password, go back to city, click on it, let it load itself back up again. And you want to see basically everything is there, ready to rock and roll, and there you go. So what I'm going to do is uh, I lock the phone again just to show you that my everything is still working correctly on it. Um, there's no, you know, basically nothing really to show you you know so basically that's it right there I'm just gonna go home lock the phone redo everything all over again as you can see right there I'm showing you that city is working I'm gonna lock the phone <coughs> actually I'm gonna go right here go back to general <coughs> show you that the phone is running on 7.1.1 .1, as you can see right there T-Mobile and as you can see it came in a little bit clearer and I'm going to lock the phone. And basically what I'm going to do is use my fingerprint scanner now. Just to show you that it is running correctly now. Boom. There you go. And I will catch you guys later.